Hello game boys and game girls, I'm the Game Boy Guru and welcome to another pickups video. And unlike the last couple of times, this is mostly pickups. There's uh, one arrival that I want to show you, but most of this is pickups. So we'll start with what I got a few days ago at a local pawn shop that's pretty near to where I live now. Um, I've been in there before, picked up a couple of things here and there. But today, uh, or the other day I should say, when I went in there, happened to find uh, a few cool things. Uh, filled a few holes in the collection, so let's show you what we got here. First of all, uh, I got one new PSP game there, and that is The Fast and the Furious. Um, got the PS2 game, but I didn't have the PSP game, and actually it looks pretty good. Um, Looks like it's uh, going to be similar to the PS2 game, kind of run around uh, Tokyo and or run around wherever it is, I guess, and uh, look for races that you can compete in. <clears throat> Got some original Xbox games, a whole stack of them actually. Uh, finally got the Platinum Hits version of Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Got the Xbox version of Juiced. Uh, I've got the PS2 and PSP versions of that. <clears throat> got Grand Theft Auto 3 from the Xbox Collection. Uh, this is complete with the manual and the map. Um, these are all complete, but I uh, want to make sure to note the map there. Uh, Soldier of Fortune 2 Double Helix. Unfortunately, it's in kind of a rental case, which is more like a GameCube case. So the manual doesn't quite fit, so I'm going to have to recase that at some point, but uh, it is complete. <clears throat> Platinum Hits version of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, and the Xbox version of Starsky and Hutch, which I also have for PS2, and I booted up and, and played with a little bit here, uh, maybe about two or three years ago, and it was kind of fun. Um, some interesting challenge uh, levels there. And then I also picked up a PS4 game, and that is Infamous Second Son. I was really into Infamous 1 and 2 on the PS3, and actually um, playing Infamous, uh, the original Infamous, on PS3 at a kiosk in Target is one of the reasons why I wanted to get a PS3, because I thought that was so cool that you had the superhero with lightning powers and stuff like that. So um, I'll be interested to check this one out. So that was the pawn shop that's not too far from where I live. Um, <clears throat> yesterday, I went out to what was supposed to have been a soft opening of a new game store here in the city. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have enough stuff unpacked and set up yet to where they were capable of, of doing a lot. But since the manager who I've dealt with at other stores in this chain was there along with the owner um, <clears throat> and we got to talking about things and I was telling him about my my Game Boy collection he made me a very sweet deal on this see-through play it loud Game Boy uh, the original DMG um, size and and everything but this is the uh, clear play it loud one he made me a really good deal because it doesn't have the clear back, uh, and so it's not completely original, but those are not difficult to either source or just buy replacements for because there are places that make replacement battery doors. So very good deal, very happy to get that, um, and so now I have my first official Play It Loud Game Boy unit, and I'll be looking for the rest of the series in the coming months. and. Uh, so forth. Um, let's see, let's get to the arrival first. <clears throat> um, I had a transaction with um, one of my fellow RF Generation members who uh, goes by the handle Dougley007 and uh, he made me a really good deal on the Sega Saturn game Dark Legend and if you'll notice this is still sealed. In fact, it even still has the little hang tab here on the back. 
Uh, don't know if the, yeah, you can see there, there's the little hang tab. And so this is still actually factory sealed. Um, it's never been opened and it's pretty awesome. Um, very cool to see this. And so anyway, um, was really happy to get that. Um, yeah. So anyway, another Saturn game for the collection, one that uh, I haven't seen in the wild for a little while. So pretty cool to grab that. Uh, if you're not, uh, if you're on Twitch, but you're not already following him, his channel is Dougly007 on Twitch as well. Uh, so go check that out. He's actually streaming through his Saturn collection. Uh, and so he's just playing different Saturn games. He's recently done Tomb Raider and Crusader No Remorse and um, stuff like that. So anyway, go check it out. Now we get to today. Uh, I'm recording this on Saturday the 21st. Tomorrow's my birthday, so I kind of went out early and did some uh, birthday shopping for myself. Um, <clears throat> yes, that's a thing. So I stopped at a few places and thought I would show off some of the stuff that I got. Um, <clears throat> one of the stores I went to, uh, I picked up a, a bunch of PSP games a handful of Game Boy games, and one other nice little item. So, on Game Boy we have Frogger, which I didn't have, Gauntlet 2, and Double Dragon 3. Finally crossed that one off the list. On the PSP we got <clears throat> Space Invaders Extreme, which I have heard very good things about. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. <clears throat> uh, Warhammer Battle for Atluma. Not familiar with this one. I've got the Warhammer uh, 40,000 game already. Bust a Move Deluxe. Ghost Rider. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game. And X-Men Origins Wolverine. And the last item I got from this store is a Super Smash Bros. Melee Manual. Um, for those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you know that I picked up Melee at a Pawn Shop a couple of years ago now. And I picked up a whole bunch of GameCube games, first-party Nintendo titles, and they were all complete except for Melee. Melee did not have the manual. So the fact that I was able to source this is fantastic, so now I have a complete Super Smash Bros. Melee. I paid a little bit more for it than I normally would, but between what I paid here and what I paid for the game, I got a really nice copy of Melee for just over 10 bucks. So, I felt pretty good about that. <clears throat> ah, let's see here. I went to another store and got, once again, a whole bunch of PSP games. So, we have Cabela's Dangerous Hunts Ultimate Challenge. Not something I would normally pick up for myself to play, but since I'm going for the entire PSP library, why not? Also got Cabela's African Safari, NBA 07, NBA Live 08, Need for Speed Underground Rivals, <clears throat> Need for Speed Carbon Own the City Greatest Hits, and Monster Jam Path of Destruction. And finally, I went to one of the game stores that I go to pretty much every time I'm in this particular area. And I got a handful, a small handful of PSP titles, ones that I never see in the wild, um, but were reasonably priced and ones I could easily cross off the list. I also got some other stuff here. So let's go through the PSP stuff here. I got... Uh, UEFA Champions League 2006 to 2007 official video game. This is a soccer 
or uh, football game. Uh, this is UEFA Euro 2008, Australia, Switzerland. Again, another soccer slash football game. And this is PDC World Championship Darts. Um, seems like a, a silly thing to do in a PSP game, but hey, why not? So, three more to cross off the list. Uh, I picked up, very reasonably, this Sega Saturn Eclipse Stick. Um, I've got one of the official Sega Saturn Sega Sticks, um, but uh, nice to have a second stick in case I um, have somebody over and we want to do fighting games or shmups. We can both now have a joystick. So, cool to have that. And now the big finish. I bought a bunch of Game Boy games. And I crossed a couple of the more heavy hitters off my list this time. So we'll go through these real quick. So I got Skate or Die Tour de Thrash. Um, one of the more expensive games is Sword of Hope 2. Glad to cross that one off the list. This is Black Bass Live Fishing. Another one that uh, you don't see in the, in the wild as much and is also a bit more expensive is Ultima Runes of Virtue 2. So cross that one off the list. Uh, one that I was a little surprised to see and the store owner told me he was surprised it hadn't sold yet is Ishido, The Way of Stones. And I remember spending hours playing this game uh, on the home computer growing up. And so it'll be interesting to see how that translates to Game Boy. Also got um, Penguin Wars, which um, is the first time I've seen it in the wild probably since... I started seriously collecting Game Boy here uh, several years ago. Um, now, of course, this has been reviewed a couple of times already, but uh, I look forward to uh, giving this one a go because it looks fun. And the real heavy hitter is Night Quest. Now, this game uh, was a lot more money than I would normally dump into a Game Boy game. But, looking at prices online and seeing what it's going for, this definitely qualifies as a heavy hitter. Funny enough, I already have the manual for this that I got a couple of years ago while out hunting somewhere. So, uh, that's pretty cool, and um, so I'll be curious to give this one a go and see what it's like. I suspect it's probably an RPG, um, but it's by Taito. They're not really known for RPGs. So I'll have to boot this one up and give it a try. But yeah, Night Quest on the Game Boy. So one of the more expensive Game Boy titles, able to cross that off my list. Very happy to be able to do so. Um, that's all I've got to show you guys today. What do you think? Any of these Game Boy games, uh, ones that I should be checking out and maybe moving up in the, in the list to do a review of sooner rather than later? Uh, what about these PSP games? Um, you know, I know a couple of you guys are PSP uh, fans. What here do you like? Anybody played Dark Legend on the Saturn? And what about Infamous Second Son? Any of you modern gamers played that yet or enjoyed the original Infamous games? Let me know. Let's discuss in the comments section below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Game Boy Guru. I'll have a link in the description below to my blog where you can read my Game Boy game reviews, that is blog, uh, gameboyguru.blogspot.com. Also make sure you check out Nira and his channel. He provided the uh, Super Mario Land overworld music that I use as the intro for all my videos, and he's got a bunch of other great chiptune and game music covers there as well. Also, if you like this video, uh, consider giving it a thumbs up to show that you liked it, and let me know you guys want more stuff like this, more content uh, in this um in this vein and also consider subscribing uh, I'm getting really close to 100 subscribers so I'd really like to hit that number soon as always thanks for watching thanks for playing and game on